Hello, today I'd like to talk about a new open source tool that can help people manage their MQZOS environments. During a recent conference presentation, I mentioned a new program I've been playing with to work with MQ's SMF records, and I asked how many people would be interested in it. I was very surprised at the large number of raised hands and realised I needed to get it released as soon as possible. And so, here it is. This program is designed to format the SMF 115 and 116 records produced by MQ on ZOS and make it easy to import the data into spreadsheets and databases. It differs from some other tools in several respects. It runs on Windows and Unix systems instead of on ZOS. It has no intelligence whatsoever and does absolutely no analysis of the data. This is a direct dump of each record, so it gets out of the way of your own analysis. And it's available as an open source project on GitHub. So what does it do? How do you use it? And where do you get it? What it does is to take the SMF data as input and write each type of data element to a comma separated value or CSV formatted file. CSV can be automatically imported by many programs such as spreadsheets, so you can build your own calculations on the data. Using it is very simple. Collect the SMF data in the usual way on ZOS and use the IFA SMF DP program to dump it to a data set on ZOS. Then download the data to your workstation. The only special thing to remember is that the transfer needs to incorporate the ZOS record format into the downloaded file. That's why I've used the quote site rdw command in this FTP session. Without that, the program cannot tell how long each file record is. Then run the MQSMF CSV program. You then have a set of output files corresponding to each SMF element. Importing them into a spreadsheet, you can then calculate totals and averages or draw graphs. The program is available on GitHub in the IBM messaging area as the MQSMF CSV repository. It includes source code, documentation, some sample data and executables for several platforms. There are some suggestions for future enhancements and I would welcome submissions. Please try it out and let me know what you think. Thank you.